Rakarobosh. Brikanda Riketu Saka Prakata Zakata. Rinda Kushaka Prakota Zakata. From January to now, you have been faithful, Jehovah. Mashika Prakota Zika Prekataya. Manda Rakata Zika Tanda Likrakato. Rikata Shakika Rokata. Makarakata Zaki Prako Shekete. Monde Rikato Zaprakata Dara. Rakataza. Reke. Reka. Wakinda Rakata. Makita Sote Sekete. Lenda Rakata Yalaba. Mashaki Rakata Yaba. Maki Brakata Zakata Yalaba. Thank you, blessed Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. One more minute to go in thanksgiving. If you are not going to thank God for yourself, I will thank God for myself. Because I know that God has been faithful. Over my husband, over my children. I give you praise. I thank you. For my husband, Olufemi Joshua, I bless your name for this commission. I thank you for your hand of mercy that has not departed from this commission. Mandari Katayaba, from January to October 31st, you have been faithful. You have been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be unto your holy name. For in Jesus, much less name, we have given thanks. Amen. Lift up your two hands this morning. He paid the price. He did not hold. I hold the price. I could not pay. I needed someone. To wash my sins away. Lift up your two hands this morning. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. When Jesus paid the debt that I could never Lift up your two hands this morning as we worship God. He paid the debt. He did not hold, I hold all that, I could not pay, I needed someone to wash my sins away. A brand new song, a brand new song, a brand new song, a brand new song, a brand I could lift up your voice and worship this God. Lord, I thank you for your presence in this place. To wash my sins away. Hey, a brand new song. A brand new song. Before we sing that song again, let me tell us something. It was when I was waiting for my flight yesterday. Then I looked up to heaven. And God reminded me of that song. How come the song came? The tail end of singing a brand new song. He paid the debt that he did not owe for you and I. And I was shedding tears while waiting to board my flight. Don't come and play church today. I'm only here as sent by God. Your story must change. Enough is enough of playing church. Jesus paid it all. So why will your testimony be delayed? Lift up your two hands. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus. 
Jesus, Lord Jesus, spare the debt that I could never. He paid the debt. He paid the debt. He did not hold the debt. I hold the debt. I could not pay. I could not pay. I need a someone to wash my sins away. I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus, for the last time, lift up your voice and worship God. That song, he paid the debt he did not owe. I hold the debt I could not pay. I needed someone ah, to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone worship in this place. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship this morning. Hallelujah. Come and sing. Hallelujah! Let there be liberation. Let there be deliverance. Fire your word this morning, Lord. Hey! He's the King of Kings. Can I have a worshiper in the house this morning? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot stop you enough. Your grace, Lord, to worship you more. Yeah. Lift up your two hands and worship this God. Hallelujah. I can feel the presence of God in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Without the instruments, lift up your two hands for the last time. 
Alleluia Alleluia Ana rebosha renda korianda zakara ya ba Rendo roko shende re kere bro jare ha Mando roko to breka za jale ya raba ya Rakata zando re kere ya la Ma yele kele yele bo shata ya la ba Ere kara ya la ka jare ya la ya la ba ya la ba korianda Rende yele kere yele ba ra ya la bo shata Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for your presence at work in this commission. We give you praise. We give you all the adoration. Thank you for God's servant. Your servant, Ojo Lufemi. We give you praise for your undeniable hand over his life. Over the pastorate, the workers, the members, we say thank you for your covering over their lives. For all children in the commission, we say thank you for preserving them. We give you all the praise for all the elders. We say thank you for renewing their strength. Blessed be unto your holy name. Today's service, let there be liberation. Amen. Let there be deliverance. Amen. Let the highs of the understanding of the people be enlightened. Amen. And let every closed door be forced open. Amen. For it is written, Ah, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it come to the heart of men what God has in store for them that fear him. Father, via your word this morning, let there be total deliverances and liberations. Yeah. And the people of God shout, Amen. Yeah. Jam your hands together. Yeah. Father King of glory. Hallelujah. Please take your seat in the presence of God as kings and queens. I want you to help me appreciate God's servant this morning. Yeah. Pastor Femi Ojo. My own husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think you will clap more than that. Hallelujah. Even in the scripture. Give honor to whom honor is due. Please celebrate God's servant. Hallelujah. That is the one, the man, the only man God has raised to bring out the giant in me. Hallelujah. I celebrate grace and I love you endlessly. Hallelujah. <laughs> to pastor it, mommy, daddy, to elders, God bless you. Amen. This work you are doing as pastor it, the Lord will pay your salaries Amen. in the name of Jesus. Mind-blowing testimonies this morning. They called her imbecile. Kandush kariki tu zubre. Jikru kota prekuto sinderi kado brokotezia. Kurinda shuta rinda kuri katu ziakata yaba. So tell me, you that you are complete, why are you crying? <laughs> if God can visit that imbecile. At 46, I decree whatsoever has been bearing your glory that says you will not sing a new song. I frustrate your plans in the name of Jesus. I'm sure countless times she must have given up on herself to even kill herself. But God in his infinite mercy. Oh. Oh. Jehovah that can do something to a fault. Please tell me in Igbo. Because I connect more in Igbo. Jehovah. Zamzam. That can do something to a fault. Jehovah gave me chieni in the tie ajara. Ajara. Ma chuta riba sutia. That 
Jehovah slap the enemies. Hey! I decree this morning. Your own brand new song testimony shall come. In the name of Jesus. Please take us. Let us take our seats. I'm here by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I do not take this grace for granted. It's an anointing for a brand new song. But before we go into the session of the anointing, we must delve into the word of God because that's the only language the devil understands. It is written. It is written. It is written. They told me that there is no way I can give birth. So I must continue to have miscarriages. But the word of God, it is written, says, I must see my children's children. Don't play church. Peace House is not raised to play church. And is not raised as the Jamboree church. Come, take your own. See Juliet. She's in media now. When she came to this church, she used to dress as an artist. See her today. <laughs> when she was making testimony, sharing testimony. See my own Juliet. That when she's bouncing before. <laughs> now she's downstairs in media. As I'm talking, she's writing. And see the beauty of God coming out. This church is not an ordinary church. This church is as a mandate to transform lives. To bring people to the understanding that they are raised as kings and priests as if the beasts do not exist. Let's go straight to the point because we have so many things to do in this short time. God's servant, Pastor Benga, brought us to an understanding last week. The lifestyle of what? Of a man singing a brand new song. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And as a crown today, because the month is ending today, 12 midnight, doesn't mean your brand new song should stop. So I have come with something for you so that you can use it to always light the candle of that brand new song. It must be burning throughout. If you have known me for years, I don't just preach. I always preach a message that you must do something before God can do something. It's a win-win thing. Hallelujah. So it's not just about prophesying. Or about telling you this is it. Mm -mm. What must I do? Hallelujah. And he said, come. Let us agree. Together. Amos 3.3. 3. Can two work together? Accept it. Good. So this testimony is a win-win thing. You do it. God does his own part. Don't let anybody play with your destiny by prophesying over empty vessels. You must do something. The miracles I'm seeing today, the testimonies I'm seeing today is as a deliberate act of faith I have achieved many years or I have done or kept maybe in the place of prayer, fasting, seats, worship, service. Nothing just happened. Nothing. 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 Glory to God. Put your hand on your chest. Say, Father, give me a receptive heart this morning that will change my story forever. Topic. Decisions you must make if your brand new song testimony must remain perpetually. Decisions you must make if your brand new song testimony must remain perpetually. We are going into 1st of November. Will this brand new song testimony follow me through? Will it follow me to November? Decisions you and I must make. Joshua 24 verse 15. Oh, 
kash kabro kutu zike ndikiri bro kusinda ria kadaba. Are we there? Good. Can we read together? And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. You are going to decide who you want to follow. If he is God, because God is a God of process. Quick, quick testimony. It doesn't work that way. I was sharing with some people where I traveled to. I said, let me shock you. When you attend a church, listen and listen good. When you come newly into a church so that you will know that God is here, God can permit some testimonies. But the sustainability of that testimony depends on what you choose. And that is why a lot of people keep saying, God is no longer in that church. God is no longer in that church. Let me shift base. These decisions you are about to make today, you have to decide if you are going to make it. Or you decide that you want cheap, cheap testimonies whereby they prophesy over your head. Hey man, receive. Hey man, receive. Hey man. After so many years, you are going back to square one. Decide. You are going to make that decision yourself. By the time we finish the service, you will go over and tell yourself, I need to make this decision truly. Choose today whether to follow this process or you just want quick, quick testimony. You see, in this church, we follow process. The direction of God. It may have seemed slow, but it's not slow. E, this house will overtake many. It's what I've seen. Choose this day to make these decisions. Number one, decision to be serious with God. Make that decision today that I will be serious with God. Decide whom you will serve today. But as for me and my house, we will be serious with God. Isaiah 42 verse 10, the anchor scripture. Sing, sing, sing. Have you even made that decision? You heard Genevieve? She said for a brand new song, there must be a brand new dance. She has made that decision. Let me shock us with this question. How many of us actually got a new song this month? Meaning that you have that song that you have been singing. How many of us? See the percentage. <laughs> Don't let anybody deceive you. If instruction comes, you must follow through. Sing that song even when it's not palatable. Make that decision today to be serious with God. You heard Pastor Benga said, the lifestyle of bragging about God, the lifestyle of giving, and so the lifestyle of prayer, all those lifestyles. Tell yourself, I want to be serious, not that. Because they said I should be serious. Not that. I've made that decision long time ago. 
that peace house is my home. Do you know that there are a lot of pastors' wives that even their heart is not in the church they are serving? Yes. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> don't let me go deep. Make a decision to be serious with God. You are serving God. Get a book and a pen. Take a journey with God. How you are serving God. Check it yourself. Not what they say you should do. There are two different things. I wrote in my first book. That's the title of my first book. Your decision, your destiny. The decision you made today is the destiny, is your future tomorrow. And I wrote it before I got married. If you decide to serve God today, don't let anything distract your service. I have realized that a lot of Christians don't sit down to make a concrete decision about their lives. They move with trends. They move with weather. I don't feel like serving God this week. I've gone through a lot. So please, everybody should leave me alone. And God too tells you that I will leave you alone. God telling you I will leave you alone can last for 10 years. Be careful. Be very careful the way you are relating with God. Not just from your head, but from your heart. Serve this God. Be serious. With service. With everything. I don't come to church casually. Never. Because every Sunday, God must give me a testimony. He's a must. Number two. Decision to be intentional and deliberate about singing that song. Come rain, come shine, come sun, come moon, come anything. What did Job 22 verse 21 says? Can you give me the message translation? When you acquaint yourself with God and you be at peace with him, he will what? Let's see the message translation. That's KJV. I love the way message translation put it. Give in to God. Come to terms with him. And everything will turn out just fine. Be deliberate. Be intentional. That you and God, you are in agreement with something. And when you are singing that new song, even when you have not seen that testimony, know that something is coming out. Just know. Isaiah 54 verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 54 verse 1 to 3. Sing ye, O barren. You that you are without children. Sing, O barren, thou that did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. How can you decode that? Be deliberate even when situations are not palatable. And God is a God that does not lose track of his faithfulness. Never. Never. First Samuel 1. Quickly. First Samuel chapter 9. Chapter 1 verse 9. First Samuel 1. Good. 
before so Anna let us read together so Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore good and she vowed a vow and said O Lord of hosts if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid and remember me and not forget thy handmaid but will give unto thy handmaid a me a man a man child then i will give him unto the lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head good and it came to pass as she continued praying before the lord that eli marked her mouth meaning she was what like singing good now anna she spake into her heart only her lips moved but her voice was not heard therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. Good. And Eli said unto her, How long would thou be drunken? Drunken, put away thy wine from thee. Good. And Anna answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. That was a bad song. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I've poured out my soul before the Lord. Good. Continue. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken it at all. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. They went to Shiloh every year. She decided that she must say this thing every year. Let me ask us a deep question. How many of us set aside one day to pray and talk to God and that prayer did not answer? You feel it did not answer and you prayed again and you feel it did not answer and you pray again. How many of us have done it without giving up? You can see the percentage. This woman was intentional and deliberate that every year this particular song, I must go and talk to God about it. This particular situation, I must go and talk to God about it. For eight good years, because it was the ninth year God answered me, I was deliberate about my children. That's why when they were altar calls, people mocked me, but I kept on coming out in this church for eight good years. Some of us will say, I have decided to pray and I've decided to fast, but God did not answer me. Let me shift. That's why the scripture, the actual scripture say, choose whom you will serve. Please, not until pastor tells you, decide yourself. Sit down and settle this issue. Anna was deliberate, was intentional about singing that new song. That's why she kept on going. You think it was easy? Or you think it was easy for me? There was even a time I cried in church because God's servant called the altar call again for fruit of the womb. I had to stand up. I wept. You are praying the same prayer for over eight years. But Christians of nowadays, once they pray and fast one week, God did not answer in that church. The shift base. You must make that concrete decision today. Let me shock us. God answers my prayer in this church. In this church. So what is happening? Lock yourself in the room and ask God that question. Number three. Decision to stay a lot in the place of prayers. God's servant PG said the lifestyle of a prayer. Pr the lifestyle of a prayer. Or the lifestyle of prayer rather. Decision. You must make that decision. To stay a lot. Matthew 26 verse 41. Watch and pray. That ye may not enter into temptation. 1 Thessalonians five seventeen, Pray without season. 
that you have gotten a breakthrough, please pray about it. Hello? Hello? That you have gotten a breakthrough now or you got maybe 3 million naira. Pray! Even much more than the person that just got 100 naira. Stay alert! Make that decision. There is no breakthrough that comes my way. Even if it happens in office, I go to the restroom and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Keep this testimony, Lord. Whatever you don't pray about will end up becoming a prey in the hands of the enemies. So that minute breakthrough you thought you saw, if you don't continue to stay alert in the place of prayer, by praying over it, it will soon become a prey in the hands of the enemy. They will feed on those testimonies. That's why the scripture says it. That watch and pray. Why did watch come before praying? So that your prayers were answered last week. is even a major reason why you should be the first to get to church today. Every day, I keep lifting up God's servant. Lord, thank you. As you are doing more, preserve him. As you are doing more, help him. Do not let him change focus. Do not let him stay out of grace. Pray! Somebody that is already called and you are praying that prayer over his life. Think. I wrote something down. Nobody wants you to succeed more than they. Especially all the people that act as your friend. It's very deep. I'm telling you the fact today. It is the, the most bitter of the truth you can see in this world. Nobody, don't let them, don't, don't let people deceive you. It is the, it's the dangerous truth. Anybody can tell you. Nobody actually wants you to succeed more than them. Especially your closest friend. So make that decision to stay alert in the place of prayer. Always pray without ceasing. It means don't cease praying. Whether good come to you today, whether you feel down today, whether you are spirit filled today, whether you feel like swimming today, whether you feel like jumping today, whether you got that miracle job today, whether you got that miracle child today, pray without season. Don't cease praying. Because the breakthrough you just got, people are praying for years to get it. They've not gotten it. So your brand new song testimony, you want it to remain? You want it to be sustainable? You must make this decision. Not just receiving it. Not just getting the blessing. And you go, keep it. And you say, let's wait again for the next month. We can start afresh. Who told you that? The testimony of today can be carried to next month. Since the day God blessed me with this miracle children, I have been having brand new song testimonies. But I waited over eight years to have it. Let me shock you with this. I wrote this down in the middle of the night. Children of God, challenges are real. Oh, and most of them are beyond intellectual power. So you must learn to genuinely pray about your testimony. Some challenges are beyond your intellectual power. Tell people to wake up and pray is a lie. And you want some testimonies to come to you? Minute will come, but major ones will not come. You can get it at first. That's why I'm telling you. Listen to the message very well. How will that brand new testimony be maintained perpetually? Not just you getting the testimony. Listen to the message very well. How will it continue forever? How? You heard his testimony, Minister Bright. He came to Abuja battered, wretched. And look at how God is helping. But let me shock you. He's serving God. Oh. 
That is why that, that lamp is still burning. But a lot of us will say, I have prayed and fasted for three nights. God has not answered me. And this person is getting, especially young, young stars, this person is getting married. Who told you that your Saturday can be given to another body, another person? Never! That the person got married. Hey, hey. So, has God go, is God going to delete your own Saturday from his calendar? No! Everybody has his own time. But because of that, ah, let me shock us. I was inside the plane yesterday, sir. And that girl, ah, she fixed that nail. She, it was like this. She started pressing phone. She saw me coming inside and she smiled. And when I sat down, I sat down here. She sat down. I was on C. She was on F. And she started, you know, I, I saw the way she went straight to Instagram with her nails. She was looking at people. The way they were doing like this. Doing like this. Doing like this. No. You may think it's funny. And afterward, I noticed something. She felt bad. After she, she checked that thing, she felt bad. And she, used, she put her phone like this. You know, she sat down. She just put her phone like this. She turned it upside down and threw out the plane. She was not herself. I only turned to check and I saw that, oh, she was checking some people doing like this, doing like that. And that destroyed her mood. The person she actually saw may be going through greater challenges than her, but that has marred our own joy. Why are we using people's life to determine our joy? Please, I beg us. If you know where I'm going in life, you will know that this person is thinking. I don't even have time. Appreciate people, but let it end there. I can never look at you twice in my life. I can only appreciate you once, and that is it. Once. Don't think because of the small breakthrough you have arrived. If that testimony must remain, and if you must sing that brand new song, you must make a decision today to learn how to pray fervently. The effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. Be sensitive in the place of prayer because the devil keeps roaring, roaring every day. The devil doesn't want you to laugh so that you had that testimony yesterday or that you stood on this altar yesterday to pray. is even a major reason why you should pray more. The Lord, don't let the, the, the flow of this testimony run dry. Don't let this brand new song I have received run dry. This testimony, Lord, help me. I can never be fulfilled. Listen and listen good to what I'm about to say. That I get home and I don't kneel down where my prayer altar is and pray. It's like you have, you have destroyed part of my life. I must kneel down beside that bed. And give thanks before any other thing. No matter what. Quickly, another decision. What's the first decision? Decision to be serious with God. What's the second? To be intentional and deliberate about singing this song. Till you see it come to pass, like Anna did. Third one. Decision to what? Stay alert in the place of prayer. Thank you. The fourth one. Decision to locate your next level brand new song scripture. Locate your next level brand new. This 30, 31st of October. What is going to survive? Please wake that girl up and tell her to stand up. Stand up. We are going to preach with me today throughout. Locate. Please stand up. You will minister with me. Locate. If I ask her now what was number one, she cannot. 
Ah. May God help Christians these days. Look at the next level scripture for this brand new song. What is the scripture that is guiding your life for your testimony to come? Some people are praying for the fruit of the womb. PG, they don't even have three scriptures they can pray about. God has not answered me. Ask them, have they prayed with scripture? The enemy only understands it is written. Let me tell you my own. One of the scriptures I use, Romans 9 verse 9. It became national anthem, Sal. Pifemi, Romans, wake me up from the, wake me up anywhere. Romans 9 verse 9. By this time, I shall return. And Sarah shall have a son. That's one of the dangerous scriptures I used for those years of waiting on the Lord. Some people believe in God for breakthrough. They cannot even sit down and get a scripture for breakthrough. And they will say, I attended Peace House for three months. Nothing happened. Let me go back to another church. Pastors can never help us. They can only guide us to know what the heart and the mind, the heart and the mind of God. Look at that scripture. I add over 10 scriptures for fruit of the womb. 10. You are believing God for a miracle job. You don't even have half scripture. Half. Like, you know, there are scriptures that A, B. Like that Daniel 11, 32. A, B. They don't even know A. Not to talk of B. And you want blessings to flow. It does not flow like that. I don't know how to deceive people. I speak only the mind of God. I don't speak to entertain. Never. The testimony of yesterday is gone. Please, get another one today. Don't delve into it so you can have testimony per second. Per second. That you got that testimony. Ah, everybody joined their hands to dedicate that miracle cooker. Does that mean that you cannot dedicate another one? No. I entered into God's servant's car. And people were like, oh, wow, this is nice. This is good. I said, no, it's not my car because my own car is still coming. It's GLE I want. No, I told God. No, 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 no. I'm not here to. No, it's as a product of work. Is as a product of work. So, when people now started saying, oh, this car looks beautiful. I, no, it's not my car. Unless you think that's what I want. It's GLE. <laughs> but I should say it's GLE. And I'm not working. And I'm not praying. Hello? <laughs> Hello? It doesn't jump that way. Uh -uh, it doesn't jump. Let me shock us today. If you see some testimony come, bien, without you praying, check that testimony very well. It will go, bien. No, think, think. Don't tell anybody. Think when you get home. <laughs> Thank you, Elder. It's true. They come, pian. The way they will go, pian. And you'll be like, what happened? Look at the scripture. That's why I put it down when I was preparing this message. And it blessed my heart. The scripture you don't locate about your life can never future in your future. Future in your future. Can never future F E A T U R E in your future. When God showed me, when I was praying middle of the night, I said, What? I must write this thing down. The scripture you don't locate about your life will never future in your future. And in my first book, I put it down. I wrote it. I said, The picture of your future is actually in the scripture. But the devil has blindfolded a lot of people not to see that scripture. If you are going to churches, check if the church is a word-based church. If it's not a word-based church, run for your life. Prophecies will go. Miracle signs and wonders will fade. Falling under the anointing will go. will go. But none of the iota of God's word 
will turn back to him without accomplishing that which it has been sent to. Locate the scripture for your next level new song. Brand new song. Another decision before we go to the last one. Decision to be exceptionally valuable in all your doings. Make that decision to be exceptionally valuable and listen very well to this decision. Daniel 6 verse 3. Daniel 6 verse 3. Let us read together. Then this Daniel was preferred above who? The president one? And princes why? An excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the old. Let me shock us today. Some people's testimony is not in long prayers. It's for them to be exceptionally different from others. And the world will refer them to their glory. To the people that will help them. Some people's testimonies is not in praying and fasting for three days. You will see their talents and they will only come to church and say, Father, let my what be noticeable. That is all for the year. I am telling you the fact. I've seen, I've worked with great minds. So that is why this thing came. There are many people in this church you have been praying, 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 skabashing, 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 skabashing. If you pray from Monday to Friday and you are not increasing your worth net, you are, in, you are not increasing your value net, and you are not increasing how you improve on yourself, some people may not locate you to refer you to the people that will help you. How was Daniel preferred? Tell me about president. Daniel preferred about president. Abba. I remember where I was before in account. And it was a single recommendation. And I went upstairs. Single recommendation. What are we doing with our lives? I wrote down something to some people. It is until they build themselves that the prayers of 15 years will come to pass as answer. When someone just refer them, go and see that pastor. Have you noticed something about Pastor Femi Ojo? He's my husband, but let me shock you today. He loves excellence. He loves it to a fault. I'm not surprised today where he is. Because even when we were both wearing rags, he was seeing excellence. So what do you think you are going through today? Don't let what you are going through today determine the way you will carry yourself. Some people will not pray for five days or three days. Their own is just to be different from others. And someone, somewhere, will refer them to someone that will do them good. And that will change the story of their generation. Can someone tell me who I can help in the house of Saul for Jonathan's sake? Isaiah 61 to 3 say, Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed unto you. And Gentiles will see it. And come to the rising. Brightness of your rising. If you are not valuable, people will not see you. People will not notice you. People will not feel your worth. And people will shake you aside. And you will think God has abandoned you. Do something different with your life. Make that decision. To be exceptionally valuable. That is what I'm using as a compass for my life. Do it. 
mediocres. They don't have people that, that challenge them. They always get complacent. They are complacent. They are very okay with their status. Let me shock you today. If you don't have five people in your life that are valuable, it's actually not five people that are not valuable in your life. You are six, including you. Let me come again. If you cannot tap five people in your life or write it down somewhere that they are valuable in your life, it's not actually five, they are six. You two, you are not valuable. That's why you are moving with them. Make that decision. You are sewing clothes. Think deep on what you can do that is different. Somebody designed this and people started it. Think deep. You are cooking. Think deep. You are in school. Think deep. Think about how did I write a book within two weeks to my, my final exam in school. Two weeks, sir. I wrote that book within two weeks, sir. Your decision, your destiny. Two weeks to my final year. I wrote down something. Champions are goers. Go they are goers. They don't, they don't remain where they want to remain. They want to do more. They are forward thinkers. And that's the way their brand new song comes. Don't let people deceive you. Come for prayer and fasting. Three nights, three days. And your life will be, will, will not remain the same. Yes. But what are you doing to sustain it? That's why I pity some pastors. God has called me into ministry. Monday to Sunday, they are in church. That's why they are beggars. Never you say it that God has called me and you remain there. Do something. Change your rotation. You don't sack value. Never. You can never sack value. Never. Think about it. You can never sack value. If you are valuable to a company, they will never sack you. If you are saying you are going, they will increase your salary. So your testimony, your brand new testimony, to some, you have to be exceptionally valuable. Like Daniel. How can Daniel rise above precedence? Think deep. When you are valuable, people refer you. You get referrals. So improve on yourself. IWC, how can you dare it, Genevieve? Look at us. And you are daring what some other churches of 30 years have not even achieved? It's because pastor keeps, keeps seeing excellent results. Sometimes I look at him and I say, oh boy, you're crazy, man. Look at what you're doing. And he said it, yes, because my children must not beg for bread. They called you into ministry. You feel that is it. So you sit down and expecting people to give you money. Last but not the least. Okay. Before that, yeah. Decision to stay connected. I put this down when I wrote the last. So this is second to the last, yes. Decision to stay connected to covenant friends that connect you to God. Not emotional friends. Let me shock us with this. Proverbs 13 verse 20. Quickly media. I'm rounding off. Proverbs 13 verse 20. Please be fast about it. Let us read together. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Decision to stay connected to covenant friends and not emotional friends. Emotional friends, let me tell you their characteristics. They come when you have things. They come when you are raining. They come when you can give them things. They come when they can sap your strength. They come when they know that you are shining. Let everything just run down. Wow. You can never get them on the phone again. Make a decision to look for a covenant friend. I 
How many people? Let me ask us. You don't need to tell me the answer. How many of us can count four friends? Or let me even let me come down. Three friends that are covenant friends that connect you back to God. How many of us? Three, just three. That connect us back to God. But we all have thousands of friends that we can chat with. The people that are even saying, God, don't, don't let her have that testimony. Don't let her. I, I care. Let's, let's hang out. Oh, let's do selfie together. Oh, let's do this. How many of us can connect, can save three covenant friends? These are three covenant friends. Let me tell you, you can never be up high in the spirit every day. There will be low moments. How many people can rise up and help you that time? How many people? How many people can do it? Let me shock us today. I don't have friends. But I can tell you like five covenant friends I have in my life. Even when I'm down, they know. Even when I don't even feel like moving on. Yeah. Or when that time, when I was still believing God. They know. They feel it. Let me shock us. If you are in business in this place. And you don't have three people you can call to raise you money now. You don't have covenant friends. You don't. I'm sorry to say. You only have friends. Covenant friends die there with you. They they died here. Yeah. Do you know how many covenant friends God's servants have? He's not a borrower. Yet, let him just stand and call people. I need 10 million naira now. You see people, the way people rush. How many of us can count just three people that can say, you are not borrowing the money, but you need 5 million naira this evening and they will raise it for you. And you have list of friends on your contacts. What are they for? Decoration. Decoration. Thank you, my sister. Please clap for her. <laughs> How many of us? Mommy, when I was down. Don't let us be carried away. Yes. When I was down, mommy, that time, I remember, Loretta would not sleep. This girl will not sleep. She will send me a message sometimes to him. Pastor B, God has not given up. We must carry those children. How many of us can have friends that will even tell you, take. And why are you keeping them? Proverbs 27 verse 17. Hmm. Proverbs 27. Let's quickly read. Iron sharpened iron. So a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. How many people can sharpen your countenance? Nobody. That means you must make that decision. Please, today. This is not the normal church service. Go sit down after service. Don't go home. Write the names. Of people that are covenant friends to you. That can reconnect you back to God when you are messing up. That can pray for you when you are down. Because it's not every time you will be high there. That can sort your case. That can sort anything. Last week, let me shock us. Listen and listen good. We are about to close. I was to finish a report. And I needed to book my flight the same, way, the same time. Because I didn't know I was traveling. I called PG. God is here. He paid for my ticket. For my flight. He paid it. When I got home, I told him that you have paid already. He used his money. Can you call a friend now that please help me book that ticket or even transport. Can you go to the bottle park? They will tell you, I've not seen money now. He did not bother asking me. He did not. He just said, "Ah, Pastor B, I've already paid. You need covenant friends that can help you in the times of challenges. 
because it cannot always be rosy. There are bumps to your destiny. You will pass this. You will pass. Even in plane, there are bombs in the air. That's why there is turbulence. So no destiny is straight. But you need people that time. He said he has paid. Just last week again, what happened? He was supposed to come and do something in the house. I said, let me check this thing. I don't know what's wrong with Pastor Scal. Before he will come back and tell me that, hey, Alero, this. Do you know that he went, he saw that the fire was down. He went, filled the tank and left. He didn't tell me. Let me shock us today. Covenant friends will hold you when things are not palatable. But emotional friends will run away when things are not palatable. Beware of who you talk to. Beware of what you tell them. Beware of what you share with them because most of them are destiny eaters. They are not destiny molders. Loretta, everybody knows Loretta. Stand up and let them see you. She is my covenant friend, yet we don't chat every day. Yet we don't see every day. Yet sometimes in a week we may not even talk, but we connect. Stand up, let them see you. Stand up. We, we don't, sometimes we don't even talk for one week. And yet, we connect. Don't look for people that will drain your vision. Look for people that can help you. So that your brand new testimony, do you know that sometimes when you are down, even their own message can lift you up. And you know that, yes, there is future for me. So when you get home, Answer that question yourself. Count five people that can truly help you when there is challenge now. Now. And you need like one millionaire now. Or you need referral now. Count it. If you don't, you don't have friends. Lastly, decision to be spiritually empowered to sing that new song. And for that song to remain perpetually. Decision to be spiritually empowered. Acts 10 verse 38. Quickly. Acts 10 verse 38. Let's read. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost and with the power. Who went about doing good. Having brand new testimony. Having brand new song testimony. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Please stand up. All these things I've been saying. If you are not in grace. For that song. You can never maintain that testimony of a new song. Everything will be useless if you are not empowered spiritually to sing that song. Everything. Make that decision now before we go into announcing service. Make that decision that Lord, I'm making a decision that henceforth I come to church, I must be spiritually empowered. I don't want to come to church and go back home the same way again. Lord, I am tired of making church a religious home. Lord, anytime I appear before you, let there be liberation and testimony. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I want to be spiritually empowered to say, continually sing a brand new song. Make that decision. Make that decision. Choose who you will serve this day. But as for me and my house, we have made a decision to be spiritually empowered. I will come to church my heart must be open and receptive to the word of God. I will not be distracted. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I want to be spiritually empowered so that I can sing a brand new song every day, even as I move to November. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. You need God like never before to help you. 
You need God to even locate covenant friends. You can't do it alone. You need God to stay a lot in the place of prayer. You need God to have that spirit to be able to be intentional and deliberate about you singing a new song, even when it's not palatable. You need that empowerment of the Holy Ghost to be exceptionally valuable. Please pray that prayer very well. Thank you, Jesus. Children of God, listen to this. Brand new song doesn't jump on empty vessel. You must be engaged and empowered to undo some mind-blowing testimonies. There are some people, it's only minute testimony they've been able to handle all their lives. You must shift your base. You must know you can't do it without the person of the Holy Spirit. And that's why the anointing will be coming upon us this morning. You must be in grace to have a mind-blowing testimony. You must be in grace and empowered to know how to sing that song perpetually. God's servant was in grace for that song. That's why even when it looked as if miracle children were not coming, you will not see it on his face. It was empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands. Empower me this morning. Please open your mouth and pray. Your own testimony can come via this empowerment. Instantly, you can have it. That is the crux of the gist. Without the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, all decisions is useless. Because you need that empowerment to be able to know what to do by time. Among the gods who is like thee, you are glorious in holiness, faithful in praises, always do. Among all of the gods, no, among the gods, the record I yell about, 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 the record I Children of God, listen to this. One thing that has helped me in life is that my heart connects to God. I may not know how to sing, but I'm a die hard worshiper. And I connect more even with Igbo songs. And yet, I don't understand their language. God will not look for empty vessel to bless. You need to be in grace. God will not send destiny helpers to empty vessels because they will know that you are not going to deliver. You need an engracement for you to be called an excellent spirit. You need an engracement to discern who your friends are. You need an engracement to be able to wake up and pray for one hour non-stop. You need an engracement to be deliberate about singing a new song even when it's not palatable. You need an engracement to be able to locate a scripture for your future. You need it. You need it. Cry to God, say, Father, via this anointing, let me be empowered to sing my brand new song forever. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Among the gods who is like thee you are in thank you jesus you are always among all of the gods 
ya raba reka da ya la kada reka da ya la ba kosha da reka da ya la kada ya reka da ya la ba ya la ba reka ya la ba shata nere ya la ba kopla kada ya la ba kosha da ya la ba beautiful in praises Praise the Lord. Children of God, let me share this testimony then we'll go to anointing service. Where they lodge me. Hello. Where they lodge me. Is it not supposed to be the GM or the manager that will know that this is actually a free accommodation for me? Right? All the staff there should not know now. Hallelujah. Because you came into the hotel of course, they won't start announcing. The person in that room has free accommodation. The person, no, no. Tell me something today. You pass a place and God makes everyone in that place favor you. That is what they call law of attraction in the spirit. To do you good. That's what happened to him. Okay, I needed to get my clothes into the laundry. And so I called that they should call the guy. And I gave him what to do. And I told him, I'm running late. Please go and do this and bring it back. And he knocked my door after some time. And he brought the clothes. And I said, how much? I needed to say it. And he said, no, ma. Leave it. Another thing happened. Don't forget that the cook or the, the, um, the room service people is not every day they work. So the first person knew that, okay, fine, they don't need to collect money. But the second person came to resume that night. And I asked for vegetable, just vegetable alone. And when, because the first person came with POS, that was when they now told him that, no, don't collect money from her. So the second person that came that evening, now came, that was the next day I got there and came and as i was i was about saying okay so I'm, he said no ma leave it children of god the anointing attracts men to favor you and let me shock you with the last one when i was going i told my husband the testimony the person that was beside me while we were waiting was an actress. I won't tell you her name. Let me shock us so that you will know how to pray. We are going. Yes. But this thing will last for a lifetime. And she sat, she stood in front of, we were waiting. So they now said, oh, madam, please come to the business class area. <laughs> I laughed. So she now followed me. So we finished and we were now going. We wanted to go and check our bags. You know, they would tell you to go and check your bags to see that it has passed. So we were going together. People were greeting. People were greeting her. People were greeting her. She was just talking to me. Very quiet person in the industry. And when we got up, she, they, now, they now said we should start boarding. So she was not like, ah, what, where are you going to sit? I said, ah, I've already checked in online because PG already did. That so this is it. She was not like, oh, our hood is at the back and she wants to sit down with me. That is something she's seen. Hello, I didn't tell her I'm a pastor's wife. Please wait. I didn't even say I'm a pastor. I just said my name is Busola, Mrs. Ojo. Because I like saying I'm married with kids. You know? I like I like saying that a lot. I have married. No, I waited for years to get it. Don't, 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 don't beef me. So I like saying that I'm married with kids. So when we got to the plane, she just did something that so that they could push her. So she now told them that the engine was a big flight, that the engine is making us. So they moved her. So she sat beside. Okay, no, there was no seats again beside me. So she went straight and Bob Manuel was sitting in front. That's Bob Manuel, the actor. So when we got down, she still waited for me. You know, they moved her to the front. Don't forget that Bob Manuel was already in front. She, me, I was even like... I, I just saw her. She just said, ah, sis, I've been waiting for you. I was like, you've been waiting for me? I was like, okay, let's go. 
Then she now said she has a son, she's this, that there's something about you. You are unique. I want to be like a sister to you. I want you to be like a sister to me. <laughs> that I want you to be like a sister to me. So we were going, we picked our box and do you know that this lady made an arrangement for a taxi that will take me to where I'm going? I, it did not stop there. I told Lola, when I got to the room, I, I think it was three minutes to get to my room. She already called. Hope I'm fine. Hope I don't need anything. Throughout my stay, she called me. When I was coming back yesterday, I decided not to even say anything. Because I had not even returned the call. She called again. When I got to Abuja, she called. And she said, sis, I'm going to see you. Because that's when I will now bring her to church. She will, I'm sure she's going to, in fact, enter the ground. She now sent me a message early this morning. She said, the prayer I prayed with her two days ago, God has heard her. Amen. I've not replied that message. Let me tell you something. Anointing attracts people to be of a blessing to you. How can somebody that met you ask you, an actress that hope you are comfortable? What can I do? How can I do it? Somebody you have never met, that you people know, you know her very well. And yet, out of many, she decided to stay close. I decree. Via this anointing, people will be attracted to do you good. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two and say, Father, empower me to sing my brand new song forever. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Among the gods, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness. Careful, always, always do win wonders. Empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Lord. Always, always. Camp of the enemy, hear you say, Father, father. my father, my father, father. via this anointing, father. let me be empowered to sing a new song forever. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Who is left in the house of Saul that can do good to? If there's nobody that can refer you for something good, that means you need increasement. You need empowerment. Don't let me lie to you. This anointing can change your story for a lifetime. All the politicians you are seeing today, most of them in that political seat is referral. They don't even have anything here. Say, Father, my Father, let the word favor me. Pray in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, who is left in the heart of Saul? Who is left in the house of Saul that I may do good to? Lord, by this anointing, let the world favor me in the name of Jesus. Ah, that I might show him goodness. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lastly, say, my father, my father, I need an empowerment to sing this song forever. Via this anointing oil, via this mystery of this oil, let my life 
Reflect your glory. And let people do me good. Prayer. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name. Because of time, before we take the anointing, you are here all eyes closed. You know yourself, nobody has done you good before. Nobody has referred you to any good thing. Please come out. Nobody, this is not a time to joke with. You know yourself. You are the only one that is doing good to people. Nobody. Nobody has ever done you good. Nobody. You keep giving. Yet, nobody has looked at you to say, I want to do you good. This season, you must sing that new song. Nobody. You keep giving out. Nobody has said, take. The God of this commission is a faithful God. He changed the life of Minister Bright. God can do it. How did people do me good where I travel to? Where I know nobody? Please. God is real. Lift up your two hands, people in the front. Say, Father, I am on your altar. I need a sign today that you are with me. Let someone do me good. Prayer in the name of Jesus. I need a sign. I need a sign. Rikato saprakata shipra. Rakata prakata saprakata. Rakata ya rakata ya. I need a sign. I need a sign. I need a sign. I need a sign. That you are the God of this commission. I need a sign. Let people be attracted to do me good. Let the ointment of favor come upon me. In Jesus name. It is done. Please go back to your seat. Via this anointing this morning. As this anointing, they will be passing it around. Be fast about it so that they can go to children's church, go to overflow. Please say this prayer as this anointing come. Lord, give me that scripture again. Is there anyone in the house of Saul that I may show goodness and kindness to? And the king said, is there not yet any of the house of Saul? That I may show the kindness of God unto him. And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan at ye a son, which is lame on his feet. That's Mephibosheth. Via this anointing, within the next one hour, please place a demand as this anointing will be touching you. Within the next one hour, show me your kindness, oh God, that people will run to do me good. In the name of Jesus. So you will take it around by the Abound the God who is like thee. You are. Thank you, Jesus. Let's be fast about it. Fearful.